Okay, was it just me or did this feel like a very dark intro to Kara with the first episode of the Kara arc Boruto Naruto Next Generations episode 157? Like, we have waited how long, people? It has been ages. How long have you made me wait? And we finally got Kara, and I ain't gonna lie, the vibe of this episode, it's like, put the kiddos to bed. We, we, we don't got time for that right now with Kara. Let's get to the real shit. Let's get in this shit because, oh man, I ain't gonna lie, like, I, I constantly say it and I will repeat myself again. Every time you insert the previous gen into the Boruto anime, even if it's, you know, anime only stuff, it usually works out for the better and seeing Sasuke and Sai run in this episode, I was not mad at it at all. Shit got dark. Let's talk about the Boruto Naruto Next Generations anime people. It's It's been too long. It's been too damn long. Let's do it. Say we can do what we do no matter how you move, make your move. That's how it be though. Yes people, Kara is finally here we finally made it to the beginning of the Kara activation arc and boy I didn't thought we would see the day especially considering like it's only been like three years since the Kara arc started in the manga but hey here we are <laughs> so the episode starts off with Sasuke and Sai on a mission following what Shojioji told them from the Mujina Bandits arc about Kara this group and whatnot so they were just essentially with this episode just trying to confirm that they exist or not like was this dude just yanking our chain or or or, you know, was this some real stuff? And to be honest with you, why would Shojioji do that? Like, he was petrified and scared to death of Sasuke. But you still got to do your due diligence and whatnot. And from the, the jump of this episode, it was definitely a darker tone. Considering the fact that the Boruto Naruto Next Generation's anime consistently always feels like it's trying to cater to a younger demographic. This episode, it wasn't doing that. I mean, uh, alone from them going to, I, I believe this was the, the village hidden in the rain, if I'm not mistaken. And, you know, you start off, you see some of the filler next gen giving them some intel whatever that was cool i still gotta say like that kid should have just been kakashi's kid okay i understand that we got an episode of him saying that he's a massive fanboy yada yada i don't care why can't kakashi have a kid too that would have been excellent and awesome because if you think about it now like essentially him being a fanboy to kakashi is Kind of like he has his own, Kakashi got his own Rock Lee, similar to like, you know, the situation and relationship of Rock Lee and Mike Guy. Kakashi has his own Rock Lee, except Kakashi doesn't seem the type to like, I'm going to train you, fam. He's going to be like, I'm going to pierce you through the chest if you don't leave me the fuck alone and let me jack off to these magazines. <laughs> And through the episode, as they're trying to find Kara's lair, they run into this dude. His name escapes me. His name doesn't really matter because he was an anime-only character. But he was definitely a shady dude. And throughout the episode, you see that they're trying to find out, like, the existence of Kara via this guy's intel and this guy's information or whatever. And to be honest with you, if it wasn't for this dude and some of the things he did, I don't think the episode would have felt as dark. Because, again, I mean, well... Technically, yeah, probably still would have because you got Sasuke who is just like a brooding, quiet, you know, he's anime's Batman, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he wow, you know, this episode, now that I think about it, they kind of definitely felt like Batman and Robin. Like, don't get me wrong, Sai is way more serious than a Robin too. Like, think about it, for an episode to be carried by two dudes that have like no emotion practically, like Sai fakes his emotion and Sasuke just don't give a fuck. <laughs> That's kind of funny to see them carry a full-on episode and maybe Maybe that's why this episode felt so damn dark you didn't really have like a comedic relief character because then you got this suicidal crazy character as well because throughout the episode he keeps on bullshitting them around saying yeah you know my family was murdered yada yada i think it's this group here's a symbol and all of this jazz but we eventually find out that the dude is, is yanking our chain pulling our leg so to speak because he tries to lure sasuke and sai into a trap and once he realizes Oh shit, they're too smart for this. Dude takes his own life. Honestly, that was for, uh, again, for the Boruto anime. And I gotta stress that this, this anime, one of the big things about it is that they tried to market it towards kids. Boruto's entire anime so far has been like, yeah, you know, the older gen, they'll, when, whenever we throw in Sasuke, they'll tune in from time to time. But our bread and butter is the young kids that are growing up. But if you think about it, the Boruto anime has been, what, three years now that, that it's been running since 2017, right? 
right? So I guess they're probably, let's just say like a, a, it was intended for like fifth grade and up, right? Those kids are in eighth grade now. So they, they could probably handle some dark shit like that because it was a bit jarring and I was taken back even myself to see like, it was like Subaru from uh, ReZero just jumped in there and just said, ah, fuck it all. Like, what the hell? And I, I ain't gonna lie, that is a very appropriate tone to start off this arc. Uh, again, if you're gonna do anime only stuff, if you're gonna make it like, you know, we're extending it and expanding it, this is how you do it. Because one of the big things too about this character that committed seppuku was the fact that he was an outer of Kara. And as we advance further into the story, you're gonna understand exactly what does that mean about being an outer. But that was one of the elements from the manga that I felt like okay you could explore more of this like because we we really and you're gonna find out like we only get introduced to from the manga stuff like i think one or maybe two outers like yeah throw more outers and you could argue like this dude he what was he really like he tried to set up a couple traps he thought he had sasuke inside and then in the end he bitched out so whatever for that but yeah like um I, I'm, I'm digging it i ain't gonna lie like flat out if you just want to know what did i think of this first episode of boruto naruto next generation's car arc well episode 157 i think it was dark i think it was enjoyable is it canon eh, towards the end we did get one canonical moment i will say that and it was la lasted for a couple minutes the introduction of car we'll get to that in a second but for the most part i i think if you're fine with anime only stuff that is actually good dark and the beginning of an arc that is canonical and very very vital and important to the story moving forward from the manga then i highly recommend this episode i can't stress enough like this did not feel like the typical boruto anime with like little kids and and bullshit like the the only little kids we got was the squad of the kakashi fanboy and them and even that kind of felt like a really dark moment and it's kind of sad if this is the hidden rain village i, I believe that's where i'm um, amegakure if i'm not mistaken the the same village that like pain was holding down if this is that same village it is sad that all this time between the naruto series and now that it is still all fucked up like that like it is completely decimated like there's abandoned buildings and all sorts of shit like that like konaha uh, you know, in this episode, the character said that one of the things was due to the Great War or whatever the heck it's called, which is interesting that a lot of people didn't even know what was really going down uh, in the Fourth Great Shinobi War or whatnot. But since then, it's been curtains for a lot of places like this that don't have support from like the, the Fire Nation or whatever the heck it's called. <laughs> I get confused with Avatar and shit, but you know, they don't have that major support. So they stood screwed up. And that's actually sad. Like, because uh, considering especially the horrors that like people do, do you forget that Nagato and, and the whole pain situation came from that village which is interesting now that i think about it with what's going on in the manga like uh, the the crew behind the boruto franchise as a whole are really hinting that they like pain and that they're bringing the the pain vibe bring the pain to the anime and manga because yeah again if that's the same village that pain in them came from the um, amegakure i think again it, it makes sense but it's still fucked up that they left them all like in ruins like that and then the most important part of the episode after everything that basically at the very least sasuke inside confirmed the the existence of Kara and brought back that information of Naruto and Shikamaru beginning like okay their investigation has to really go deep now because they actually exist we get the introduction to the Kara group and you cannot deny that it is very reminiscent of when the Akatsuki used to have those mental meetings that everybody would show up the Akatsuki members that's kind of what it felt like with seeing all of the Kara members in robes and we don't really get to see too much of what they look like or anything because they're hooded and shit like that but you see like the main guy in the middle it's like ah oh, well whatever if a few ninja know that we exist that ain't gonna stop us for shit and kara begins baby I, I go a lot i'm excited and seeing the preview for next week's episode it seems as though some of the stuff that we got from the spoilers if you watch my spoiler videos you get a little idea of what's about to go down one of the members of kara is already shown in the preview you see his face the old man that you kind of get a little glimpse of him he's like one of the only ones that you get a really decent look at him in, in the uh end of the episode you see that he's going to be a part of next week's episode so kara for people that are looking at the preview of uh episode 158 and thinking like oh we're going back to straight up boring ass filler shit no Kara's going to be in there yeah it's still technically like manga only stuff but is expanding this group that is the best thing to come to the boruto franchise the Kara group and i can't freaking wait as a whole this episode check it out it's a dope watch it's not canon per se but it's expanding the canon so still i, I recommend it dark tone i can't believe a character killed themselves in it what the fuck like this is a children's show right sasuke and sai held it down and the introduction of Kara. let's go we waited too long i ain't gonna lie 
like I was enjoying this episode one way or another, but I was pleasantly surprised considering I, I still kept my expectations at a minimum and they, they brought it. They brought the tone and yeah, baby, check out that episode 157 of Boruto, Kara Begins. But I'm curious what you guys thought about this episode. How did you feel about it? What for manga readers, do you think that they did it justice with expanding into the lore of Kara and the beginnings of it? How did you guys feel about Sasuke and Sai holding down a full-on episode considering they're two like really not talkative, seemingly introvert type of guys? Uh, what do you think about the introduction of Kara? Are you excited? Did they remind you of the Akatsuki from the first glance and your overall thoughts and expectations moving forward for the boruto naruto next generations anime with episode 158 and beyond i am just so excited to say finally let's go baby let's do this but that's all i have for this one thanks for watching hope you enjoyed if you liked anything i had to say or enjoyed the video drop me a like i'd greatly appreciate it and if you want more from me make sure to subscribe follow me on twitter instagram hit that bell to get all notifications and if you want to follow any of my other social media links as always in the description below i'm from the world and as always people have an awesome day and remember the golden rule, anime and manga for life, boy. Have an awesome day. Peace in. Everything good always comes to an end. If you stab me in my back, we can never make amends. Trying to move to acceptance, hard to accept it. Mistakes like mirrors, gotta reflect it. I don't want to fucking leave, but I gotta leave. Leave the maybes to the crazies. Maybe one day we, there I go and man, something in a subtle way. No more copies, leave without a trace.